Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson, and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com. And today's attraction tips video is breadcrumbing versus genuine interest. Now, a client of mine the other day who is going through a breakup, uh, he contacted me because he was a little confused about whether or not his ex was throwing him breadcrumbs or if she was genuinely interested in getting back together with him. So I thought this would make a good topic for a video because it's really easy to fall into the breadcrumb trap thinking it's genuine interest. I mean, especially when we really like a person and we're hoping that they have genuine interest. So I wanted to explain a little bit the difference between genuine interest and breadcrumbs so you too, if you're in this situation, so you too can determine whether or not you're wasting your time or if you should just continue being a little bit a little bit more patient. I'll also be discussing the best way to figure out where she's at emotionally and the most attractive way to handle this situation, especially if you want to leave the door open in case she changes her mind. Now before we begin, I just wanted to say if you find this video video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up or to share it with your friends and family if you think they may find it helpful. Also, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button down below as I'm uploading videos quite regularly now. And if you have any questions or an idea for a topic for an upcoming video, just feel free to shoot me a message. And you could do that by heading over to my website at skillofattraction.com and clicking on the contact tab, and it's pretty self-explanatory from there. And if you need some private one-on-one -on -one coaching, just click on the coaching tab on my website and there are a couple options for you to choose from. And I've also included the links to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. Now onto the video. So what is breadcrumbing exactly? Well, breadcrumbing is when someone that you have romantic interest in is giving you just enough of their time and, and attention for you to believe that they also have interest in you. But the reality is they're really just leading you on or stringing you along. So basically they're just dropping little breadcrumbs and not really giving you the full meal, so to speak. Now in my experiences, breadcrumbing comes in three different ways. One is when you've just met a girl, maybe you have been, you've been on one or two dates and she's really not feeling it, but she really doesn't want to end things with you because she just doesn't have any better prospects going on at this time. Number two is when you two have been together for a while and maybe she's lost a little interest or maybe there's a new guy and she doesn't want to quite end things with you yet. And maybe she wants to see where things go with this new guy before she pulls the trigger, so to speak. And number three is when she has broken up with you, but she isn't quite ready to let you go yet. So she keeps you as a backup plan just in case she realizes that she made a mistake and you're still available to her, like, so you don't move on. She wants to keep you around just in case she figures out that she made a mistake and she wants you back. Now, I don't think any of this is a conscious evil plan that they have cooked up. I think it's really a matter of uncertainty and indecisiveness about their decisions combined with what you let them get away with. And regardless, it's a really shitty thing to do to someone. Now, how do you tell the difference between breadcrumbing and genuine interest? Now, if she's breadcrumbing you, she will never fully commit to any plans, you know, like dates or getting together or meeting up, whatever the case may be. However, there are times where she will make plans with you, but she will end up canceling at the last minute or maybe just completely blow you off. Now, if she has genuine interest and she's not quite there yet, meaning maybe she's not feeling it as much as you, or maybe something's holding her back, like maybe she's just getting out of a relationship, she will be making some kind of effort. You know, as an example, like if she has to cancel plans with you, she will give you an alternate date. If you two have broken up and she is starting to think about maybe getting back together, she will be 
putting in some kind of effort, whether it's initiating texts or phone calls or trying to make plans to see you. I mean, the bottom line is if she sees a future with you, she will make sure you know it on some level. Now, women are much more subtle and indirect with their communication, so you really have to pay attention and read the signs because typically women aren't just going to come out and say it. They usually put themselves in your orbit, so hoping that you figure it out and you do something about it. So how do you handle this? Well, as I already mentioned, sometimes she is interested, but for whatever reason, she's just not 100% on board yet. And this could be for any number of reasons, so don't drive yourself crazy trying to figure it out. My point being is that sometimes you have to be a little patient and see how things unfold. I mean, for me personally, patience has always been my biggest flaw when it comes to relationships, and I still battle it sometimes to this day. But the thing is, with women and relationships, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And if you're trying to force things along, trying to control the situation, it just won't work because you can't force feelings and it will just end up getting you rejected in the long run. Now, of course, other times she is just stringing you along. And the, the whole idea here is to figure out where she's at, but you don't want to do it by asking her straight out because by asking her, you're using logic and women are emotional creatures and she has to feel things and by asking her you're putting it in a in a logical context and not an emotional one however the masculine role is to gently lead the interaction so starting right now it doesn't matter where you're at with this girl whether you've been talking to her for a while if, or if you just met her or you've been dating or if you've been broken up just tell her that you would love to see her and ask her when she's free to get together. Now, if she agrees to this, you just simply set a, a date, a definite date. And by definite date, I don't mean let's hang out sometime next week. I mean set a day and a time and possibly a place. Now, if you should watch my videos if you haven't already about how to ask a girl on a date and my other video on how to plan an awesome date if you need some additional guidance with this you know maybe to plan a more spectacular date or how to ask her out in a confident way the idea here is to see if she's interested enough in you to go on a, out on a date with you so if once you ask her when she's free to get together and she's not interested or she doesn't agree to it, whatever the case may be, just accept it, act like a gentleman, and just tell her something along the lines of, okay, maybe some other time. And then you're not going to initiate contact with her at least for a week. So if you don't hear from her for that whole week's time, then you're going to want to try to ask her out again. Now, if she doesn't agree the second time you ask her out, you want to respond the same way. You just want to be a gentleman and accept it. But this time, you're, gonna, you're not going to initiate any kind of contact with her again. From here on out, she has to do 100% of the initiating. And when she does, you want to keep the conversations short, but positive and playful. But keep the conversation short and end the conversation early. You know, maybe saying something like you're a bit tied up at the moment or you have some things to take care of, keep in touch, and then just let it go from there. Because the idea here is you want to give her less and less of your time because she's not really giving you any quality time. So by you giving her less and less of your time, eventually she's either going to give in and ask you out or she's going to stop contacting you altogether. And either way, it's a win-win. I mean, you may be saying, how's that a win for me if she stops contacting me? Well, you're not wasting your time anymore because you can't force a girl to be into you. If she's not into you, she's not into you, and you don't want to waste your time with that anymore. In the meantime, you should just be, you know, continuing moving forward and dating other women. And I know this could be tough for some guys because it's so easy to get hung up on one woman. But if you're dating other women, you have options. And I mean, not only will you have options of different women, but you won't get so hung up on one girl. 
and it makes things much easier. Plus, women really are attracted to guys that have options. It feels like, you know, she has to win your heart over or something if she's interested enough in you. So that's it for this video. I really appreciate those of you who have watched the video all the way to the end. And I will have another great video coming up for you in the next few days. So that's it for today. Have a good one. Bye-bye.